In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you the second component to building the most dominant offense in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody, and I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden player that they can possibly become. And so if you're new to the channel, what we do is every single day on YouTube, we release videos that are designed to help you get better both on the offensive side of the ball as well as the defensive side of the ball. And so if you want to learn alongside of me, then I want to encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. It is completely free to subscribe and it just allows you to know whenever we release new videos. If you don't enjoy enjoy the videos you can always unsubscribe at a later time so be sure to hit the subscribe button and if you wouldn't mind at the end of the video hit a like or a thumbs up or thumbs down if you enjoy the content now in this video like I said we are talking about how you can go about building the most dominating offensive scheme in Madden 21 and the first video if you haven't seen it yet it's over on the channel but I'm going to give you a quick summary to it and basically what we talked about in our last video is we talked about simplicity and we talked about the first component of any effective offensive scheme and that is to have a power play or better put a Lombardi sweep okay um, if you if you know football at all the the Packers of the 60s probably one of the most successful organizations of all time were known for their ability to run the Packer sweep in fact Lombardi is quoted in many NFL film videos saying this saying the following he says about the Packer sweep he says gentlemen this is the play that we must make go this is the play that we will make go this is the play that we will run again and again and again and it is my personal opinion that the height of cultivation meaning the best of the best Madden players understand that in order to be effective and in order to be great, you have to focus on what is essential. You have to focus on simplifying. And so I am gonna be sharing with you how to build the most dominating offense within five specific plays. So in the last video, we talked about a power play and that is the PA boot over. And in this video, we are gonna spend some time talking together about the counter play. Now the Chiefs would call the 0-1 trap, right? It's basically a running mechanic when in which what would happen is because the lineman would begin overplaying one side of the field, then what would happen is that the other side or the other uh, blocking scheme would begin to work. So power blocking with pulling guards would work, but what happened with an 0-1 trap is essentially would almost be a natural cutback. Um, let me see if I can find uh, an example of an 0-1 trap here for you. I don't know if I'll be able to, but it's similar to this counter. As you can see, the, the pulling guard is still going to the place where the ball is going, the running back takes a little jab step and then goes all the way back across the field. The reason this is significant is you can apply the same concept to passing the football. And so our power play is PA all cross or PA boot over from the bunch tight end. And by the way, if you want to get my complete bunch tight end offensive guide, it is available for just $15 in the description of this video. So you can learn this entire scheme in depth um, as we're going through this. But the second play that we're going to focus on, and the one we're going to focus on today, is our counter play. It's the play curl flat corner. And what we want from a counter play is we want it to look exactly the same as if it were a power play, but we want it to go in a completely different direction. And that's what's going to happen from curl flat corner. Now, if you know anything about PA boot over, another real important thing is we want to make sure that they have to essentially defend the whole field. Essentially what we're looking for is we flooded the right side and now what we want to do is we want to flood the left side. And so the way that we're going to do this is we're going to smart route the triangle receiver. We're going to place the square receiver on an out route. We're going to place that circle receiver on a streak as you can see right here. And then what I like to do personally is I like to take the tight end or the X receiver and I like to put it on a de delay drag Okay, as you can see right here, delay drag, delay cross. And then with the running back, I simply want him to serve as a check down, whether it be against man coverage or zone coverage. And so I'm going to put him on a smart route, an option route, as you can see right here. Now, as far as what I'm going to do with my motion, I'm going to continue to motion that square receiver to the left and snap the ball right about here. And what you're going to notice is that this corner route is very, very effective. In fact, 25-yard um, 
curl flat zones do not always defend this. You know, it's actually very common that it won't defend it. And so what's gonna happen is they're gonna have to do some other adjustments. One of the other adjustments that they might do is, and we're gonna shift to that in just a moment, is they might run some cover four. And we're gonna talk about cover four quarters, match coverage, and why this is so effective against something like that. So again, you have your little motion out. And as you can see, this triangle receiver, I mean, it's basically wide open every single time. So what I want to do, and this is against Mike Blitz 3, by the way. So this is just kind of standard. And the cool part is if you start with Mike Blitz 3, it's often that you can actually um, learn to be pretty much anything that the defense does. For example, I'm going to shift to a cover 4 show 2 here, and we're just going to run a cover 2 or cover 4 main blitz. You can see, so we've got four defenders for two routes. We're going to see if we can still complete this route. And what you're going to notice here, again, we're just going to motion it out. That little hard flat is going to take that away. But as you'll see right here, we have our check down to our back over on the rack side. We also have the ability to be able to um, release that delay drag. Let me show you what the delay drag looks like um, really quickly, especially as it pertains to Mike Blitz 3. A lot of people are going to set their defense up similar to this right here. They're going to run Mabel coverage. They're going to sit in the middle with their user, and they're basically going to think that that three rec is going to cover because oftentimes it will, especially against um, mat with, with match coverage and things like that. Sometimes that will cover the delay fade. What you're going to notice is once I release this thing, there is nobody to defend him. As you can see right here, he is completely wide open. It's another component of every powerful play. In my personal opinion, you have to have a good check down. And so that is some of the reads and progressions. Now, what I want to do is I want to spend the last few minutes we have together today talking with you a little bit about match defense because a lot of people, their first solution to this play is going to be to use match defense. And I want to show you two reasons as to why the motion snap is super, super important. So if I run the play curl flat corner and if I set it up exactly the same, but I'm going to essentially, um, I'm not going to motion the square receiver, okay? So I'm not going to motion the square receiver. I go into that cover four match defense. And what you're going to notice here is the triangle receiver should get taken away. As you see, he gets matched right at the seam and they play him. Okay, that's very, um, that's not exactly what we're trying to accomplish. We want to be able to leverage the power of that corner out because it forces a very specific defense that the defense is going to have to play. And so what we can do to over to kind of adjust to their adjustment is we, this is where this motion snap came from. So when I motion this guy out right here, if I wait till he kind of sets his feet, you're going to see that they're going to match onto him and it's going to basically leave the trunk receiver open. I threw it a little bit late there because the safety did match him, but in general, that triangle receiver is going to be open for you. Let me show you that one more time. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna motion the square receiver and we're gonna snap the ball right as he's kind of setting his feet, just like that right there. They match onto him. And if I get a good pass lead, I wanna make sure that I pass lead that all the way to the left, but I'm able to complete the corner route. This is what makes the bunch tight end so powerful. Not only do you have a power play that really makes it, puts a lot of stress on the right side of the field, but then you come back with a counter play that looks very familiar, very similar to the power play, and it goes through the complete opposite direction. So those are the first two components in building an effective offensive scheme. If you want to learn my bunch tight end offensive guide, offensive system, you can learn the entire offense all together for just $15 in the description. I've got a complete guide to it. It's got written setups and video setups as well. Uh, it also has film study analysis. This is the offense that I use in tournaments. So if you want to learn how to run the bunch tight end at the, the best possible way, I would encourage you to check out that offensive guide. It has simplified the offense so that you can focus on executing, but it, the plays that you get are the, some of the best plays, and my belief is that they are the best plays in the entire game. So if you wanna learn that complete offensive guide, you can pick it up today and you can be running the offense like a boss tonight. That link will be available for you in the description. Thanks for your support. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you liked it or didn't like it. And again, if you want to get that bunch tight end offensive guide, it is in the description.